What's going on guys, JC here, back to my channel, and tonight we'll be doing, we'll be doing Rampage and stuff, AW Rampage, so, um, yeah, here we go, the first match, alright, Pirate Party versus Tom, Tom, Pirate Party versus Top Flight, the first match, okay, here we go, we get right down to the ring with our first match of the evening already, in the ring are two, are the two, um, <clears throat> involved, which are Private Party, Isaiah Casley and Mark Quinn and Top Flight, Dante Martin and Darius Martin. The bell sounds and we're officially off and running with this one. Uh, Dante and Quinn start uh, the match and Dante delivers shots at, to Quinn and to the corner. Darius tags in and he and Dante um, double team Quinn for a bit. Darius goes for the cover but Quinn kicks, but Quinn kicks out. Dante comes in, comes back in, and and top and top flight uh, double team Quinn again. Dante goes for the cover, but Quinn kicks out. Quinn comes back and tags in Cassie. Cassie takes Dante on the outside after Darius tags in Cassie, drops Darius with the cutter in the ring, and goes for the cover, but Darius cut kicks out. Cassie and Quinn double team Darius for a bit, and then Quinn connects with the double stomp over Cassie's shoulders. Darius comes back with body shots to Quinn, but Quinn sends Dante to the floor. Quinn uh, gets a roll up and grabs the ropes, but action on Dreddy at ringside knocks his hand off the ropes. Darius uh, rolls up. Uh, Quinn for a two count as the show heads to a mid-match commercial break. As the action continues, we when we return from the break, uh, we see the match still in progress. Darius comes back against Quinn and Cassie. Darius sends Quinn to the outside and kicks Cassie in the ring. From there, Dante tags in and top flight double team Cassie, but Cat I mean, but Cassie comes back with shots to both. Um, Cassie and Quinn drop Dante with silly sh uh, string, and the Quinn and the Quinn falls with a shooting star press. Quinn goes for the cover, but Darius breaks it up. Dante comes back and slams Quinn down as Cassie gets set to the outside, and Dante gets the pinfall ending, an excellent opener to the tone of the evening. So yeah, the winner are Tough Flight. All right, uh, now we head to Renee Paquette, who is. Backstage with Sammy Guerrero, the Spanish God talks about being clear to compete again and mentions how things have come, have become personal between himself and the Don Callis family. He said he's coming to Powerhouse Hobbs. We head to another break. Alright, when we return, we see Jeff, Jarrett, and Jay Lethal are arguing and bickering again. Jarrett tells Lethal he's too nice. He says they need to get back to being ruthless. No... Uh, ruthless, no good sons of bitch, son, son of a bitches. He says he's running the meeting meeting next week. Cameron says you're a nice guy. As they walk off, and Lethal was lost in thought. Uh, tag title eliminator Ricky Starks and Big Bill, who are the champions versus the Dark Order, back inside the arena. Um, oh, I got chills. The theme for Ricky Starks hits, and the crowd goes bonkers. For their hometown guy, as he and fellow AEW tag team champion Bill Big Bill make their way down to the ring for our next match of the evening, as they do. Darby Allen is introduced on special guest commentary. In the ring, um, are their opponents for this non-title belt, which is a title eliminator, eliminator with the Dark Order duo of Alex Reynolds and John Silver competing for a future title. Opportunity. The bell sounds, and Silver and Reynolds rush over and attack Starks and Bill. The fans loudly boo as they show their love for Starks in obvious fashion. They chant, "Let's go, Ricky!" As he continues to get double teamed by Silver and Reynolds in the ring, he finally tags in the big man, and and then comes Big Bill to clean the house. Eva Ono gets on the apron, but Big but Bill kicks. Him out to the floor. Bill ends up on the floor where Reynolds tries to dive um, through the ropes for a splash, but Bill catches him and slams him. Silver ends up blasting Bill from behind, and the Dark Order duo 
go to work with double team action on the big man at ringside. Starks ends up getting the hot tag and helping him get the win. He and Darby stare each other down afterwards. So the winners are Ricky Starks, Ricky Starks and Big Bill. All right, we head backstage where Renee Paquette is standing by with Don Callis and Powerhouse Hobbs. She brings up the comments from Sammy Guevara earlier tonight who says he's coming for Powerhouse Hobbs. Callis mocks Guevara for talking about his family um, and baby too much. Congratulations, you can reproduce. Hobbs chimes in after Callis finishes up and says he's got kids too. Three of them that depend on their daddy. He says Sammy won't be the first person to come after him. He says look at his track record and now he's coming after you. He tells Guevara to hope he doesn't find him first. So next match, uh, Will Nightingale versus Queen Amanada. Back inside the arena, back inside the arena, Will Nightingale's upbeat theme hits. And out she comes with Chris Dantlander and a gloom unhappy Stokely Hathaway by her side. Stokely is holding silence with Chris, makes him hold up and flip through, uh, which Pro Willow comments on them. She settles in the ring for this singles contest and then theme for her opponent hits. And I mean, out comes Queen Amanada. She sells in the ring with her old own two on AEW Rampage. The bell sounds. We're fishing off and running with this one. Amanada does well early, but Willow quickly starts to take over. Willow takes it to Amanada for a few min for a few minutes, and then heads to the top rope, where she leads off with a drop kick that sends her to the floor. She walks the apron to go after her, but. The queen hops and trips up Willow. She starts to take over on offense as we head to a mid-match commercial break. We, uh, we, I mean, we return to some more back and forth offensive um, action for the two, and then ultimately, Willow Nightingale hits Queen Ronda with her Doctor Bomb finisher. After when Stokely Hathaway is still bummed out, comes in the comes in the ring with Chris Stantlander. Willow gives him a big hug and then shakes his hand with Amanada. So the winner is Night well, Will Nightingale. Okay, the next week on Rampage it will be Roger Strong, Matt Taven, Taven, and Mac, Mac, Mike Bennett of the Undisputed taking on Rocky Romero, Trent Beretta, and Orange Cassidy in trios action. This was announced then when the Undisputed Kingdom confronted Orange Cassidy during a Renee Paquette interview backstage. All right, the main event: Mystico Vol Volado Junior, uh, Hero Zero, and Mascara Dorada versus Christopher Daniels, Matt Seidel, Matt Menard, and Andrew Doc and Andrew Parker. All right, it's the main event. We shoot backstage to Renee Paquette upon returning for the break. From the break, she is with Willow Nightingale and Chris Dandler when they are confronted by Surya Ruby, Soho, and Hardy uh, Cameron. Cameron ends up biting Stokely Hathaway. They bicker and a tag bout is set for next week. Um, it isn't said which two or what show, but likely Rampage and likely Surya and Hardy Cameron versus Willow and Chris. Back inside the arena, Matt Menard and Andrew Parker made their way out to the ring for our final match of the evening. Also coming out on their team is Matt Seidel and Christopher Daniels. After the four men settle in the ring, their music dies down. Now the ring announcer introduces their opponents, all four men from CMLL, Mexico, Valdero, Jr. All right, um, as Scalper tries explaining to everyone watching which one is which, and w why which are important and what they are each for their reach known for. The bell sounds and we're fishing with this one. Um, Seidel and Mascara, uh, Dora kicks things off for their respect respective teams. Uh, Seidel does a good job setting the early offensive and lead for his team. Seidel goes behind for a waist lock 
but Dorado takes uh, tur- I mean Dorado turns it around. Sidel turns uh, Sidel comes back with a uh, hard Corona, but Dorado delivers one of his own. Menard and Volando uh tag in for their respective teams. Uh, Volando takes Menard down with the hard Corona, and then follows with the thrust kick. Daniels and Mystico tag in. And Daniels applies a side headlock. Mystico uh, sends him off the ropes, but Daniels um, takes him down. Again, Mystico comes back uh, with the handspring elbow shot and follows with a crossbody for a one count. Mystico takes down, takes Daniels down again, and Daniels goes to the floor. Daniels comes back in, but Mystico. Mystico uh, delivers a shot and falls with a kick in the corner. Zero uh, tags in and drops Daniels with the drop with the drop kick. The CMLL guys triple team Daniels for a bit after Dorado tags in. Uh, Dorado connects with the running shooting star press and goes for the cover, but Sidal breaks up. Dorado chops Daniels in the corner. A few uh times but Daniels comes back with a kick and and a back heel trip. Parker and Menard come in double and double team Dorado and well Loudor side uh, side tags in as Menard and Parker continue to double team Dora Sidel goes for the cover but Dora kicks out and uh Seidel applies a bow and arrow submission on Dora as the show heads to a commercial when we return from the break, we see all eight men in the ring in a standoff as High Spot Central breaks out. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Every man flies all over the place until we're down to Daniels and hit hit zero girl, whatever. Um, Daniels looks looks for his angles angels wings trademark. Spot, but the CMLL star avoids it and rolls through, rolling him all over the ring and then rolling him up for a pin attempt. He gets a three count to end an excellent main event that felt very different. The most we matches were made at Skyboard Hives at Zero versus Brian Danielson for Collision tomorrow night, which is today, which is tonight, Saturday. That's all this week's show wraps up for thanks for joining us. So, yeah, the winners are. The CMLL team. Uh, so yeah, that was good and stuff and um, good show. A little more better than um, SmackDown, but the only good part was you know Cody Rhodes talking to Roman Reigns and then The Rock showed up. That was mostly a good one. So anyways, um, that was it for this video and hope you enjoy it. If not, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed that unboxing video more. Um, but that's all. Uh, anyways, um. Yeah, hope you see y'all for collision and all that stuff. And um, take care. And I'm sorry you had to listen to the poppy list of the brain in the background or something. So yeah, that was it. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Laters.